Being that it, February is National Children's Dental Health Month, but you didn't know that. Sleep disordered breathing affects nine out of 10 children. Now, there's a connection there we're gonna learn about right now. Symptoms frequently go misdiagnosed or untreated and worsened with age, so you wanna pay attention to this. Mm. Joining us now, Dr. Dee Mevison. She's the owner and primary clinician at D4 Dentist. Right. And she is joined by two beautiful young ladies who happen to be her patients and her daughters, Ellie and Layla. Ladies, welcome. Thank Dr. you for having Dee, us. Dee, we're Hi. so great to meet you. Yeah. Great to have you in. Thank, Thank you, you for, for being having here. us. Let's talk about sleep disordered breathing. What is it? Well, sleep disordered breathing is a precursor to adult sleep apnea. Really? No, it happens in children. So let's talk a little bit about sleep apnea, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Sleep apnea is when you have a small restricted airway and as you're sleeping, you're not getting enough oxygen into your body and essentially you're suffocating yourself and depriving yourself of that much needed oxygen. Mm -hmm. Most people don't know that there is no cure for sleep apnea. We can only manage it. And when we manage it, we usually use a CPAP machine or an oral appliance or surgery. Now, sleep breathing disorder in children, that's a precursor, so we see those symptoms in children sometimes. Um, some of the symptoms include dark circles under the eyes, mouth breathing, um, emotional and behavioral problems, just not getting enough sleep, mm -hmm. lack of oxygen. Wow, now you have a Healthy Start program that wants to address these kinds of symptoms when they appear, right? Yes. So. Seeing my children, I suffer from sleep apnea, and I saw these symptoms oh. in my children. Huh. Ellie had dark circles under her eyes, um, mouth breathing, not getting enough rest at night, lack of focus in school. Mm. So it led me to research a lot more about this situation oh. and this condition, and so I found the Healthy Start program. So what I learned is when you have a small airway, it can grow to a normal size if you're growing and developing the airway while the child's teeth is coming in. So really? that's right up my alley, right? I'm a dentist. We can guide the teeth. So I did a lot of research. Um, the Healthy Start program is a series of soft appliances mm. like this. Yeah. And they come in all different size and colors. And what it does is it helps guide the bone to grow to the sufficient size so the teeth come in straight. Now, teeth are crowded if they don't have enough space, which means the mouth is too small. Mm -hmm. and if the mouth wow. is too small, the airway is too small. This is so really? interesting wow. that you are using your expertise to, and, and something that has affected you, um, but also you're incorporating with your daughters to get a start on this problem but before it happens. You're doing a partnership with CCSD. This is really interesting. What are I you doing know. there? I'm trying to raise awareness of this silent epidemic. <laughs> and what we're doing is we're doing a contest for the children, um, elementary school age, and they're going to do a drawing of what they think the Tooth Fairy Castle looks like with a little brief oh. description. Um, wow. They can submit their entries to the Clark County School District office by Friday, February 17th. <laughs> wow. Or they can call our office at D for Dentist, 702-586-7800 to learn more about that contest. How clever. I never imagined that the Tooth Fairy would actually have a castle, but of course the Tooth well, Fairy has a castle. where does she live? And she's my best friend. I go to visit her all the time. We have you to. You know her. I do. Wow. Wow. Can I have your autograph? <laughs> <laughs> can I have yours? <laughs> So kids, how is this, how is it, what is it like to have a mom dentist? <laughs> is it convenient? Especially since she knows the tooth fairy and everything? Yeah. Now, have you realized any benefit from the, the use of the appliance? Mm -hmm. Does it help so, you sleep better? Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. So Ellie here had um, an issue where I noticed the dark circles under her eyes. Mm -hmm. um, she was breathing through her mouth, she was snoring, and she had a really small upper and lower jaw. Mm -hmm. So her teeth were so crowded. They were stacked up on top of each other. Um, so what we did was we put her in the Healthy Start program. Can you show me some of the appliances? here? And what they do is they wear it a little bit during the day, but mostly at night, mm -hmm. and it helps guide their jaw to the proper size. So then her teeth had room to come in straight, her permanent teeth. Wow. This is wonderful. Layla, what grade are you in? Second. 
second grade. We have a second grader and a sixth grader. We're Fantastic. so happy to have you wow. ladies on set. Your mom is wonderful. Uh, Dr. D, will you come back and, and talk to us more about pre preventing cavities oh, I'd love in to. kids? Yeah. Because I feel like that's a topic like we need to shed some serious Absolutely. light on. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. So, Great. You know, right. and, and we have, I'm so sorry, we no, have just ahead. a moment to get into your special offer. Oh, yes, absolutely. So if you call our office and mention the morning blend, I will do a free consultation for Healthy Start. So if you find that your child yes. um, needs a consultation or might have some of these symptoms, please give us a call. Beautiful. Excellent. Go to d4dentist.com. That's d double -E for dentist.com. There she is. Yeah. Yeah. Call the number on your screen. Receive that complimentary Healthy Start consultation Office D for Dentists located on Maryland Parkway near Pebble, just west of the 215.